thing from Charlie. I know he has been like uh, playing a couple other characters, but as far as tournament goes, I think it's just Wario. Go Bayo. Yeah, right. He ain't never going Bayo. Go He's never going Bayo again. You know when he is going to go Bayo? Smash 4 Saga? That's right, Smash 4 Saga! <laughs> so I'm not going to lie, I didn't know there was a real. like. I, I kept seeing the thing on Twitter, I was like, there's, there's no way they're doing this, right? Why, why would you assume it's not real? You know what? My bad. I, I <laughs> can't think people would. Why, why would. That. Hello, they had like over 1,200 entrants. Yeah, yeah, you know? <laughs> Sign up for Smash 4 Saga, guys. <laughs> okay, well, we see a good combo coming out from, from K9. It's going to credit him 93% onto Charlie's Wolf. Great chomp right there as well. 107% and he heals himself a little bit. Great after. What a fast stock here from K9. Only 20% unanswered. Charlie finding an opening. Trying to make it count, but can he do what K9 just did and take a stock off of a single one? Well, he was looking for the tech chase after the down throw, uh, but K9 was smart to to tech away. Just getting as much space between him and that impressive down smash. Uh, but K9 able to pick up the stock with a pivot S smash. That's such a great spacing tool. It's, it's really, especially if you have, uh, you're playing against characters that like to rush you down. It is the give me my space tool. Yeah, please do not touch me. This is my personal Back space. Off. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, no, I, that was the <laughs> wolf player and K9 say, saying, man, I'm gonna sit here just so you know you misspace that. Yeah. Charlie a little bit too far away. K9, you know, knowing it. <laughs> That's right. We see, you know, uh, Charlie able to bring it back, charging up an up smash, but K9 being smart and just waiting out that smash attack again. Okay, Blaster connecting onto K9 once again. We see Charlie spacing out a lot of back airs. You know he's trying to just throw, use the move that will take the stock. A quick shoulder check right there. That's going to be the stock off of Charlie, but Charlie coming down and responding with him. almost find the stock, but not quite yet. He's gonna have to try and find one more opening, it feels like, to get this stock up. As I say that though, late hit, dash attack, super late hit. Mm -hmm. Soft hit in air, it's a great tool for, for ledge. It does catch uh, neutral get up, jump, and um, oh, no. he can even space out over a wake up attack. Now Charlie, very much respect for this, uh, a whole lot of it, respect for the waft. Harry up to is gonna find that stock. And now the threat of a rage waft is gone. Charlie able to breathe a little bit easier, but he still has to respect that he could lose. I mean stock he's right he's right. really just one conversion away from, from getting the waft. Yeah. Especially here on Pokemon Stadium. But no fear from Charlie right there, fighting his way back down to the ground. Great tech chase with the photo, continuing with these up here. And he's so he's doing a great job of parrying the second hit of Wario's Nair. That's yeah. really, that's what um, resulted in him taking K9 second stock and even like taking more damage, putting more damage onto K9. And you, I just, you have to understand the amount of like confidence that takes to parry Wario's nail, knowing he's oh. looking to set up for a loft with it. He let it rip. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. That seemed a little ambitious from K9. I mean, sometimes you gotta yellow it. I mean, if you're, it works, you're, it works. Yeah, if your opponent is not expecting it, then it can totally work. Okay, we see the soft hit of Nair. He gets it again. Hey, you know what? He's actually doing better against Charlie now. Maybe. Never mind. He's not doing better. He lost. He got a But what I was going to yeah, say... He's doing good until that he was, smash. He started doing better after he burned the walk. And what I think is that when Charlie sees that walk gone, he says, okay, now I can fight K9 more, knowing it's not going to come out. And that's what K9 wants. So he says, you know what? I'll give up the waft if you'll come fight me, because I think I can beat you in the one-on-one -on -one right now. Well, I mean, I just hope that doesn't flag Charlie to just play more defensive, because that is when that is when he was really extending his lead. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Great stuff, though. I mean, K9 opened up that game amazingly, taking an early stock off of Charlie, but Charlie... You know, an explosive player in his own right was able to match it, basically. Yeah, and I really like that Charlie picked up Wolf. I know at the beginning of Smash Ultimate, he was having a bit of a character crisis. Yeah. He wasn't sure, you know, Bayonetta obviously gone. Yeah. Fox uh, doesn't have the same tools. He's yeah. still a good character, but still doesn't have the same tools different as in, uh, he, he did in Smash 4. in a different way, not the way that a lot of the Fox players of the past prefer, mm -hmm. you know? 
yeah, now he's, you know, he's moved on to Wolf, and he seems to be getting some of the results, so, you know, I'm happy for the kid. Yeah, I mean, we're, I was talking to him earlier, he was saying, you know, he's finally starting to really enjoy Ultimate, now that he has the Wolf, he's starting to see where the beauty in this game comes from, and it comes from so many up airs, apparently, 77% on to K9. Mm -hmm. And the damage just continues to rack, he's already at 90%. Throwing out those aggressive down smashes at the ledge. If he, uh, if that down smash did connect, they would have re uh, rewarded him the stock. So the risk was reward was definitely in Charlie's favor. Ryan, Royal though, K9 answering back almost the same amount of damage. Wait, Tetris with the death check, but again, not by oh. the sweet spot. Charlie being a little aggressive there, trying to, you know, go past the ledge, see if he can take the stock. K9 I mean, even that was actually a smart move because K9 wasn't expecting Charlie to go above the ledge, so he, that actually forced him to dash back in and put himself in like a you know a fairly good position for for Charlie to use rising fair, or rising up air. But dash attack going to connect for K9. That's going to give him the first stock of this game. But an up smash to answer right back for Charlie. Yeah, trading blow for blow right here. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, okay, wait, now Charlie's winning, now <laughs> it's even again, I don't know what's going on. The forward air connects for Charlie. Oh, again, those were the, the, I think Charlie was looking for a soft hit in air, so he can get the grab follow up, but now we see Charlie boxing out K9 and getting forward air into three up airs, and now K9 is answering right back. Oh, interesting stuff right there. I'm not sure I've ever seen down tilt into side B, but you know, Charlie is pretty good at, you know, getting these side B. If he thinks it's a confirm, it may be something that works here and there that I don't know about. Oh, wow, and just not letting K9 land, and a, a juggle of up airs is enough to take the stock. Oh, getting the buffer dash attack which is what allows you to follow up from the down throw at these lower percents. All right, now this is really scary for Charlie. I mean, he does have a stock, but if he loses it to things like that dash track, he has to be scared of the waft once again. After not going to be able to take the stock away from Charlie. Using the Firewolf to make it back to stage, but he's trying to style on K9, getting a Nair into a forward air into Wolf Flash. Yeah, and he can go for things like that. He does have another stock. I think it was somewhat of a challenge of K9. Oh, saying, that's too low. Burn block on to punish this. K9 not gonna do it though. A bit of an unfortunate SD from Charlie, and now he's in the hot seat once again. <laughs> Dash attack. All right. Let's see. Going for nairs. Okay, that's what he's doing. He's looking for his soft hit follow up into up bears and up tilts so he can land that wall. But good nair from Charlie is gonna keep K9 at the oh side my stage. God, that scooped it from so far away. That's right. If you don't know your opponent's hitboxes, at which K9 should because he does mean well, you should know that that up smash pulls in from quite a bit of the distance. Quite far out. <laughs> okay, that will put Charlie up 2-0. Is it time for the wolf dittos? Is it time to bring out the wolf and you know what? I think it is. Yeah. I mean, the warrior was How to the moon! <laughs> the warrior was actually looking pretty solid, but unfortunately, you know, pretty solid isn't enough to take out Charlie the King's wolf. And when you're down 2-0, you oh, can't Oh no! Fly He's gonna make it back! Okay. He's gonna make it back. God, I can't watch K9's wolf without thinking about his VR reveal video clip now. <laughs> I don't remember. It, uh, his clip went uh, just standing there. Oh. Menacingly. Menacingly. <laughs> if that doesn't describe... Get out of there! Like, <laughs> like, if that doesn't describe what we're seeing, it's terrifying because it's working for K9. Great patience right now. Gonna find a backer opening. Mm -hmm. He just continues to knock Charlie off stage and then just puts him in these trap situations, which is really how a, a good tool that, that Wolf has access to that... Most of the other uh, cast don't actually have. Okay, down smash. Gonna go on to Charlie's shield. Oh, but a soft hit Nair and tries to punish with a, the tech with an illusion. Or the wolf flash. Right, 
Soft hit Nair and follows up with an up air. More juggles? No, is K9 able to land and get an F tilt of his own? I, interesting, aggressive recovery there from Charlie. Gonna just jump on with the Wolf Flash. It can be a pretty solid surprise option, but not that time. Not in the Wolf Ditto. K9 knows what to look out for. And you know what? Wow, not opting for the back throw, especially at those higher percents. I'm not sure what it did, honestly. I don't think Charlie was. I mean, he still. was pretty close to the right side of the stage. His back was to the blast zone. That's interesting. I mean, that back throw is stupid strong. <laughs> you know what's super strong? That F-Tilt, yeah. too. Speaking of which, <laughs> Charlie able to take this stock, but now K9 getting three forward here. Charlie answering right back. Down throw into the dash attack afterwards, and he gets the fair into the down air as well. Not going to be able to get the stock because K9 is able to recover, but great turn of events here for Charlie. Now he has the lead. Yeah, that's right. A little bit more percent, and that would have been K9's second stock. But, oh, using that up smash, we've seen Charlie take a lot of <laughs> a lot of stocks with that up smash. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Charlie finding the second forward smash as a punish there. Okay, no jump. Use force to use the directional air dodge, and K9 able to make it back to stage. Pivot, up tilt. Interesting. Oh, no, and that's it. The late hit of Nair going to catch Charlie's jump. He knows he can't recover and he's going to just wolf flash into the glass and get back onto stage fast. And that's the mix-up. Do you recover low and force the, the the fire wolf or do you recover at that angle where you can get wolf flash? Yeah, it's definitely, you know, both of them very <laughs> scary to actually go out there and edge guard sometimes because they can, you know, kind of rob your stocks away sometimes, but you know, both these players uh -oh. have uh -oh. no He doesn't have a jump. Okay. Backwards hit of the down smash. If that was forward hit, you know, that definitely could have been the end of k -9 down throw. Not going to be able to get the tech chase. Just a little bit too much rage. The DI on that back here right there. Charlie staying alive. Yeah, and I like the blaster that he used when he was coming back to stage because it made sure that K9 wasn't in a position where he can do drop down Nair and just, like, flat out take the stock. But we can see a back throw. That shouldn't be the stock just yet. And now K9 setting up at the ledge. Ooh, ooh. He reverse into his face. We're going to see another forward throw from K9. Ooh, using the platforms to do drop down, back air. We're gonna, now we see a back throw from Charlie. Charlie attempting to juggle K9, but K9 finding his way back to the ground right now. Both players just looking for one single opening. Anything can kill for K9 right now. Yeah, Charlie K9. has to rack up a little bit more percent. K9 looking for those grabs. Charlie he looking for nares and back airs. And the back air strong enough with maximum rage to take the set for Charlie the King. Yeah, and great stuff. Charlie moving into winner's finals against Razo. Uh, that was so, so close for those for those two players. Yeah, that was definitely down to the wire. Charlie Abel just keep himself alive. And here we have a look.